EPA officials are in Delaware County investigating whether contaminated soil is contributing to a cluster of cancer cases. It's a story that Joe Holden has been following for nearly a year now. He joins us live from Norwood on where a contractor with the EPA has been spotted. Joe. Just the push continues to determine if there is something in the environment that is driving up cancer rates and autoimmune diseases, among other illnesses in this Delaware County community. Yes, the EPA does have a contractor out here focusing on these woods, doing some boring, doing some analyzing here and in other places, more than a dozen across the community of Norwood. And it is as simple as following the tracks. Their work is very easy to find. Off trails and in the woods, the markers show the locations of their interest. The history of this investigation is long running, but complaints and suspicions began piling up several years ago because of a perceived unusual incidence rate of illness. Many are convinced old landfills and dumps are to blame for what they claim is a cluster of diseases. The EPA launched a probe four years ago and was set to conclude there was no link, the agency said in interviews with CBS3. The television station further pressed the agency for explanations after it was revealed a concentration of well more than 100 people had cancer, MS, and other diseases. A crowded fire hall meeting tipped the scales, spotlighting anger and frustration. The EPA acknowledged it would conduct all new testing and analysis. We spoke to Mark Gonzalez, the father of an eight-year-old. He buried his daughter, Sarah, a year ago in June. Here is how he sizes up this renewed push for information. Your faith in the process right now is where? Very low. Very low. Um, I don't trust the EPA and all that. I just think they're dragging their feet on everything. Um, we haven't even been reached out to about the individual properties. And you would think being right across from the area, I mean, like five steps from the area, you, they would have reached out to us already, but nothing with us. I think they're just trying to pick houses that are maybe further away. Yeah, we're back live, and I got to tell you, the interest in getting to the bottom of this is very high. There are also communities across the creeks, Fallcroft, Glen Olden, Briarcliff, people who have reached out to us concerned about long-running histories of old industrial dumping and what lies beneath the surface. There will be, in addition to searching for answers in the woods, upwards of 60 individual residential properties where the EPA will bore, according to leaders in Norwood. We have an interview with the council president. That is coming up on Eyewitness News at 530. And we should mention we emailed a spokeswoman for the EPA in Philadelphia for comment on this story. We are waiting for a return phone call or email back. I will see you in one hour with the very latest. We're live in Norwood. This is Joe Holden, CBS3 Eyewitness News.